G'day, it's Fugitive Australian Journalist Shane Dowling from the website Kangaroo Court of Australia. Now this video is on Harvey Yemeni again. Uh, it's the third video I've done on him in recent times. The reason being he's such an imbecile. This video is about him being Australia's dumbest criminal. He just tweeted a message on Twitter a few days ago and he, all he's done is uh, dobbed himself in for being a fraudster and a scammer in relation to his defamation case against a PR guy because he's admitted there is no defamation case. Now, uh, I'll read you out the message he put on Twitter. Now, this is what the tweet says. It was posted by RV Yemeni on the 14th of June, 2022. And it says, Never forget how PR guy spent the past two years mocking our crowdfunding for legitimate court cases. Suddenly, they are crowdfunding for a case that doesn't exist. I haven't sued PR guy. I sued Twitter and won. Seven days, scammer. So there you have uh, RV Yemeni accusing a PR guy of uh, fraudulently raising funds and being a scammer. A scammer is a fraudster. But uh, all RV Yemeni has done is uh, dob himself in for being a scammer and a fraudster. Because he's gone on uh, his own media accounts and posted videos of him saying he's raising funds for a defamation case against uh, PR guy 17. He's even gone on the Andrew Bolt show on Sky News and said, yes, I'm raising money for a defamation case. But there in that tweet, he's telling everyone that uh, PR guy's a scammer because he's raising funds for a defamation case in, in effect that doesn't exist. So all he's done is uh, admitted to a crime, fraud, financial fraud by RV Yemeni. Um, we'll just post those videos now, of one from his own website. Uh, his own YouTube account where he's rambling on about uh, he needs to raise money and he needs your support and he needs that money to help him in the defamation case against PR guys. So let's listen to that video. In one word, just describe the person that unmasks him. Someone that unmasks the troll. The troll, Dan Andrews troll. Just one word. Like hero, whatever you want to call us. Yeah, hero. Hero? Yeah. No, I didn't put words in your mouth, did I? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we have some fantastic breaking news to share with you. And firstly, I want to thank you because none of it was possible without your help at avilegalfund.com. The federal court here behind me has today ordered Twitter 14 days to hand over the details of PR Guide. This case is opened until Twitter hands over PR guy and all of that is only possible because of your help at avilegalfund.com where we're getting things done every single day in the courts avilegalfund.com if you're as happy as I am with the outcome of this case make sure to share the news let the world know what's happening because you have people hiding behind fake profiles which is fine I support that but as soon as you spend two years growing your platform, becoming such a powerful voice, and then use it to defame your political opposition, well, expect those of us who are willing and able to fight back to come back, and that's exactly what we've done. And none of this is possible without your help. avilegalfund.com, this is just one of many cases, and we're gonna win some, we're gonna lose some, but you have gotta be in it to win it, and I can't be in it without you guys. $30,000 so far is how much this case costs us. It may cost us even more if we have to take Telstra at the end to ensure full compliance, but doesn't matter because we can do it with your help, avilegalfund.com. So there you have him, he's rambling on about 10 times. Donate, donate, donate. He needs your money to help expose PR guy, help uh, sue him for defamation. Now let's listen to the Andrew Bolt show where he's uh, asked by Andrew Bolt, what's it for? What's, uh, what's the court case about? Joining me is Avi Yemeni. Avi, good to talk to you again. Why are you suing PR Guy? What, let's start with that. Well, firstly, a correction there, Andrew. Thanks for having me tonight. But we're actually also getting the full logs of the IP addresses, so I doubt we'll need to go back to Twitter. The reason we're suing him is for defamation. It, at the end of the day, you know, everybody has the right to privacy. Everybody, you have the right to walk around the street if you really want, wearing a balaclava and saying silly stuff, you know, defending Dan Andrews every move if you really want. But the moment you act 
unlawful or you do something that gives somebody else a reason to raise a, a civil claim against you, that mask doesn't give you a free pass. That's when anybody can go to the court and find out who you are. It's the same thing with PR Guy, and that's what we're doing. So there you have him on the Andrew Bolt show as well, just dribbling on. Yes, I'm suing for defamation. But that tweet, he says there's no court case against uh, PR Guy. Um, so he's lying in the media, raising money for a defamation case, case against PR Guy. But when PR Guy tries to raise money to defend himself, he says there is no court case and PR Guy is a scammer for trying to raise money. Well, all he's saying really is uh, admission of guilt uh, by RV Yemeni. The fraud police should uh, raid his place now and have him charged for fraud, financial fraud. If you've donated to him, well, you've been sucker punched. The reality is uh, chances of him suing anyone for fraud uh, defamation aren't real flash. In relation to uh, PR Guy 17, I've done a couple of recent videos on that. Uh, he has no defamation case. And as uh, Tom Tanneke has pointed out in a recent video on RV Yemeni, Yemeni's got a huge problem if he goes to court for defamation because he needs to prove damages. So you'd have to hand over the financial records for Rebel News. And uh, they don't want you to see how much they're fundraising and how much they're spending on these court cases because they're raising a hell of a lot more money than they're actually spending on these court cases. And uh, as per the video, uh, Tom Tannenberg's video, uh, he points out that that's actually a business model for Rebel News. They've used it over there in Canada, which is their head office. If you donate to him, if you donate to RV Yemeni, that's where the money goes. It goes to Canada. And that's a business model they've used over there. Run all these frivolous court cases, raise all this money, and don't spend it on all the court cases. Uh, any excess is pure profit. Now, one of the things I come across in my investigation is that uh, RV Yemeni instituted proceedings against Twitter on the 15th of February, 2022. That was to try and find out who uh, PR Guy 17 is, and that way he can sue him for defamation. And that's what he said uh, publicly, and that's what the media have been reporting. But as that tweet says from Yavi Yemeni, there is no defamation case against PR Guy. But to get that initial... Uh, orders against Twitter to hand over the information, uh, the count information for PR Guy 17 to try and find out who he is. He obviously instituted proceedings against Twitter and what I found is that he started using a law firm called Mills Oakley Lawyers on the 15th of February 2022, that was the law firm he was using. But for some reason on the 23rd of March, he changed from that law firm to another law firm, McPherson Kelly. And the same day he's changed lawyers uh, with the court, he's uh, instituted a new uh, notice of motion with an affidavit. Now, why would a law firm who's only been on the matter for a month, month and a half, be dropped? Why did the RV Yemeni drop them? Well, I think one issue might be is that they had to tell, how did they, they've had to tell the court that the reason they want the court order against Twitter is because they need to find out who uh, PR Guy 17 is uh, so they can sue him for defamation. But if there is never going to be a defamation case, and there's not going to be, RVME would get destroyed. He hasn't been defamed. He's an absolute grubby. If you threw a chopping block, uh, board at his wife, hit her in the head, uh, he abused her and abused her for many months. That went to court. He admitted guilt. Uh, so he can't afford to sue anyone for defamation. And as I pointed out, he'd have to, he'd have to uh, show damages, he'd have to hand over the financial records of uh, Rebel News, and they're never going to do that. So no chance of ever suing for defamation. And that's probably what the lawyer change might have been. He might have gone to the lawyers and said, yes, I'm going to sue for defamation. Um, I need these uh, court orders against Twitter. But then maybe the law firm realised, no, he's not going to be suing for defamation, so they're lying and deceiving the court. If they're telling the court, yes, we need this information because we're going to sue for defamation, and it turns out they're not going to sue, well, then the lawyers, not just RV Yemeni are being contempt of court, but the lawyers are being contempt of court too. And that's what that tweet shows uh, that I've put up on uh, the screen, where RV Yemeni says, PR guy shouldn't be raising money, he's a scammer because there's no court case. Well, that can be used against RV Yemeni to show contempt to court because I'm sure the original judge who issued the court orders against Twitter 
believes that there is going to be a defamation case. So either Avi Yemeni or the lawyers have lied to the court. And that might explain the change of lawyers. So there you have it, the latest instalment on the RV Yemeni v PR guy so-called defamation case that doesn't exist, even by RV Yemeni's own mouth, it doesn't exist. So why did he lie to so many people? That's something RV Yemeni needs to answer. Doesn't matter what you think of PR guy, if someone like RV Yemeni can lie and deceive the courts and uh, expose uh, anonymous people based on lies, lies that RV Yemeni is telling, uh, then, you know, he can use that to abuse and intimidate others. And other people can use it too. That's why it's important to shine a light on exactly who Yavi Yemeni is and what exactly he's doing. Not listening to his lies on the internet. He's a scammer and he's just running a scam again. Other than that, uh, if you're new to the story, I wrote an article about it on the 12th of June. Uh, the original article, and I've done a couple of videos since on my YouTube channel. So uh, other than that, uh, please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you visit my website, kangarooquarteraustralia.com, please sign up for the free email subscription. And that way, every time I do a new article, you get an email letting you know there's an article there to be read. Thank you for your time and have a good day.